dog here. <laughs> <laughs> I saw dogs in interviews, and I'm not seeing one here. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had one in my lap earlier. Ah. Yeah, but then he had to go out and relieve himself. Okay, well, good reason, actually. Yeah. After years of working in television, mm -hmm. but not really comedy television, yes. um, this is your first feature. Mm -hmm. What led to this finally being your first feature film? Yeah. It's interesting because it, uh, I never would have thought that I would have done this kind of movie as my first feature. I thought for sure it would be a comedy mm -hmm. or, you know, but this came to me through uh, Gavin Pallone, mm -hmm. who I've worked with in television, um, who is a, who's a, is a producer on this movie, as well as Holly Barrio from, mm -hmm. from Amblin. And, um, and they know that I have five dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of a resume. Yes. <laughs> and so, and I think it's really important that, uh, in, in fact, everybody that worked on this movie had a dog or mm -hmm. has had some relationship with a dog. It doesn't sound right, but <laughs> anyway, we're, we're, we're going to go with it because that's mm -hmm. the comedy in me. <laughs> so, um, and I think it shows on the screen. I think, I think, I think if you if you love dogs, um, I think it's really important because you, you just work a little extra harder and you know their behavior and you want to capture that in the movie. I can definitely see that it's because there's mm -hmm. some like the dogs are so lovingly shot. Right? It's, yeah. Every time another dog puppy shot comes in, you can hear the whole audience like, oh, yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> puppies. <laughs> Was there any moment in production that you considered maybe doing more direct references to the dogs in the first film? Mm -hmm. and their owners you know like Bailey goes through a lot of lives mm -hmm. and um, there was a couple of lives before he went back to Ethan in a dog's purpose mm -hmm. um, did you ever thought about oh wouldn't it be cool if we could touch base on an older owner from the previous mm -hmm. even if it's not in the book did you ever consider doing that no mm. because um, you know the movie even even adapting this movie from the novel mm -hmm. it's 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 you have to you have to make it smaller because right. obviously the novel's longer and it's a little bit more detailed. So we have whatever is a hundred, you know, an hour. I think the movie is an hour and forty-five minutes mm -hmm. to be able to tell our story, you know, economically. Right. And um, so I think what we did, our main concern was the, was the CJ character, and we didn't really want to veer too far off from that. So we stayed with with her and how the dog the. You know, Bailey was helping CJ through her life. All right, makes sense. Yeah. Um, how do you begin begin to prep to direct this many dogs? <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily I had a great um, uh, dog trainer, Bonnie, mm -hmm. and um, so she preps the dogs. I cast them. I mean, mm -hmm. she would bring she would bring pictures of dogs to me and tell me what their temperament was, and then I'd go and play with them and stuff. But in terms of uh, you know, we and then we'd go through the script, and I said, "This is what kind of trick I would want." And then she would, she would say, "Okay, that's good, but maybe we should do this." So it was a very, very uh, coordinated effort between me and her. I have a weird pitch for you. I, in do case it. They do another movie. Do it. A dog's purpose. Do it. A dog's journey. Yep. A dog's vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. I love it. That's so cute. Bailey's now a cop. That's so cute. I love it. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Very you. good.